In this tutorial, we're going to add a page to the menu system up here. There's going to be two ways that we can do it nowadays because of the new version of WordPress, WordPress 5.9. You can now do it right inside of the page editor instead of going to appearance and then menus, which is the old way of doing it. But some themes still support the old way and some themes support the new way. Eventually, I think everybody's going to do it the new way, but not yet. So you have to know both for now. Let's do the old way first. So let's go into the dashboard. We're logged in as the admin. And if we go to pages, I created a page called store. All you do to add a page is go to pages and add new, give it a name, for example, store, and then click on publish. Then you've got yourself a new page. And now that that page exists, it can be added to a menu. So if we go to appearance and then menus, we have the main menu with home, about, services, contact, which is the same as what we saw on the front page. So we go back out here, home, about, services, contact. If the menu you see here is not the same as the menu that you see out in front, you can select which menu to display. Currently, I only have one menu created. If I create another one, let's call this footer menu. Click on create menu. Let's add privacy policy in terms of service. Save it. If you like this video and you find it helpful, this is a great time to tell me by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss future videos. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. Now let's get back to it. Now up here, you notice a new option where you can choose a different menu. So make sure you choose the menu that you want to add the page to and then click on select and then that menu will be loaded here. If you're not sure which menu you want to select or which menu you want to add the page to, you can also go to Manage Locations, and this will tell you all the different menu locations built into the theme and which menus are there. And the menu name you see here is the menu name you want to select from this dropdown right here. And so once you have the right menu, you can go ahead and find the page on the left-hand side. In my case, it's Store. Then click on Add to Menu. Once you check the box beside it, it's added to the bottom by default, which means it's going to be on the far right. The very first one's on the left. This is second from the left, third from the left, fourth from the left, and fifth from the left or far right. You can click and hold and drag to move it around. If you indent it, it'll become a submenu item. So store will be a submenu of home or a flyout menu or a drop down menu, whatever you want to call it. If you don't want it to be a submenu, you want it to be part of the main menu system, make sure it's lined up to the left. And I'm going to add it after services like that, and then click on Save Menu. Now if I come back out here and refresh, we have the store link now in our menu. Now this is the old way of doing it. Up until about a month or two ago, that's how everybody did it. All themes were built that way to use appearance and menu. Now with WordPress 5.9 and later, we have themes like Brixie, or the 2022 theme, and a whole bunch of others where our appearance menu is vastly different. Notice all we have now is themes and editor. If we activate Astra again, we see we have themes, customized widgets, menus, Astra options, that'll, that'll vary between themes, and theme file editor. That's pretty much for all themes. That's a WordPress function. If I activate Brixie again, you'll see just themes and editor. So things have changed a lot. Now, if we go to the editor, that's gonna take us to the full site editing experience, and this is our homepage. It's a different theme, so the homepage looks different. If I come back out here and refresh, we see we have a different layout for the homepage because it's a different theme, but we have the same menu as before, home, about, services, contact, and the store page is not there. Inside of the full page, full website editor now in WordPress, we're able to edit the header, the page content, and the footer. And this is the home page. You can choose different pages to edit if you want. I've got the tutorial on the 5.9 release. It's linked to the carp above and the description down below. And I'll walk you through all the options that we currently have inside of the editor and how to use it. To edit the menu, I'm going to click on this menu section up here. I selected home directly. If I click on this little navigation icon, it's going to select the navigation block, which is a new block in WordPress 5.9. And this is where we can now add pages by clicking this little plus. Click on that and you can search for your link here. Store comes up right there. You can search for it as well. You can also add custom links, meaning it's just uh, a name and a link to somewhere else. It's not actually a page on your site. I'm gonna click on store to add it, and then I'm going to move it by clicking this option right here, or this button, move left. If you keep clicking it, it'll keep moving. I'm gonna put it right there. You can also drag and drop it. There 
There we go. I find it easier just to move or uh, click the button left and right for most instances. And so now we have our menu updated inside the new block editor or the full page editing experience inside of Gutenberg. If I click on save and save again and come out to the front end and refresh, we now have our store link right there. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. That playlist is all about getting up to speed with WordPress if you're new to WordPress. There's a link to that playlist right up here in that card. Click there to watch the whole playlist or click down here to watch a video that shows you how to create jump links and add them to your menu systems. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.